How's it going guys? Welcome to Squid Shot. This is finally coming to an end. After this week, there will be no more renovating until next year sometime. So whatever we get done is it. We're gonna start with finishing the hallway, which is going to involve painting the walls and the doors, as well as hanging the skateboards. Then we're gonna have to do the desk solutions, which I'd like to have a standing up, sitting down desk for the office and mixing and things like that as well as a raising table for this room, so that way I can shoot products easier and artwork and things like that without having to move the camera. Hmm, and I think that's about it. So, let's get at it. Whoa, I almost forgot. I'm getting the music room back too. It has been storing all of the overflow and things from all of the rooms for about three months because I set up to do the renovations over the course of two or three months, so that way I had enough time to do everything. Um, so that room hasn't been available to me, and I get it back. I get to play guitar like a normal human person. So I'm excited. Once again, let's, let, let's go. No, seriously, I'm done. Let's go. I'm thinking this whole wall can be black and the doors can match the colors of the rooms, but be using the dominant colors from the rest of the mural. So purple floor sparkles gets the purple door, the red room gets the red door, and the green room gets the green door. Now, the last door is on the opposite wall, which it happens to share with a large piece of cork that I had previously painted black. Okay, I've got it. There's a lot happening in this hall already. Let's support the Homura concept by making the whole wall a macro view of her kimono. Yellow this whole wall with, you know, a couple red lines. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. I think. flat paints for about 95% of the mural work that we did in the hallways uh, because it's really shine resistant. Uh, if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that and ask for their flattest paint, you can get it. You can put it up there, but if you shine a light anywhere near it, it's going to have the shine to it. So that way when you're looking at it, it'll always have a section that you can't see because of this, like, it's blown out even to your eye where it's just too shiny. But Golden So Flat does not do that. Okay, onto the skateboards. We're gonna be using a skateboard hanger that I got from an Etsy store called Swamp Machine. And let's go ahead and open one up real quick and we'll show you what's in the bag. About two episodes back, I had already opened the box of nine of them, I believe. And you see they are really well packaged. Okay, so the guy makes these by hand. And most skateboard hangers hang the skateboard with the wheels facing the wall. Or you can have it with the graphic facing outside, but you can't have the trucks on it. And you can't use it in that case. So this guy came up with a way to hang the skateboard with the wheels facing out with the graphic, but you can take it back off and skate like that, which is not normal when it comes to skateboard wall hangers. They're strong enough to hold the boosted board up in the air, and that thing's like 25 pounds or something stupid. And I've taken it down and put it back up there like 20, 30 times, so... Okay, it comes with two drywall anchors, so that way you can have a more secure fit, but we are not gonna be using these because we are mounting them directly to wood, which is wonderful. So let's go ahead and hang those things and get that all set up. The big issue is going to be figuring out what order to put the long boards and skateboards up in so that they look nice. And it has two screws included as well.
Okay, the first desk solution is easy enough. You just take it out of the package and put it on your desk. It's called a Real Space Pneumatic Desk Riser. And I got mine at Office Depot. They usually have some on display that you can play with or you can find it online. The raising electronic table that we're about to construct is by Froman. I got mine on Amazon. The desk comes with these kind of feet and the bottom's very sharp and it's, if you try to move the desk around at all, it's gonna scrape up the floor. So I've come up with an idea to take this one by two and put it inside of the bottom of this, which will be just slightly more than flush. And once we've cut this to length to fit inside of here, we're going to take a two by four and attach it to the one by two. And we're gonna be taking these wheels that lock and attaching it to the platform. So that way the whole desk can roll around the room without damaging the floor. Once the one by two is put into this little alcove, it's pretty level with this metal here, but when you get to the end, it has this little lip that comes up, right? I don't wanna restrict the two by four's length by having it have to be inside of here. So how do we get it to go outside? And then I realized I've got a bunch of cork left over and some of it's already in strips. So if I put a strip of cork in here, we can put the two by four on top of the cork. I want the two by four to stick out so that way it is exactly the same width as the tabletop itself. So that way it isn't top heavy. Then we're gonna use this Gorilla Glue. And once that is dry, we're gonna take this piece of wood that we chiseled out to fit over the bolts on the bottom. And we're gonna put that on top of here and screw that down. Then we're gonna take this Gorilla Tape and we're gonna strip it out on top of this. You turn it over and adhere it to the bottom. Hopefully this plan works. We'll find out in short order. Okay, so they popped out. That's it guys, we are done. I've cleaned up and I think we're ready for a tour.
the pain, you can't shake that All the way gassed up, full tank, man Moving too quick, keep the cameras in the playback tank So tell me how you feel with it You put a lid on it, I ain't got no chill with it This right here your problem, you gon' have to deal with it Lead on the line, high risk, that's the meal ticket Yeah, we ain't never fall back Came with the hands out, get them off us I'm 24-7 in the office Pay attention cause I ain't repeating offers Yeah, never met a man I've been scared of Careful, you gon' get exactly what you asked for Here for whatever you bring me, get in hand Or the answer to no one, I don't need to hassle Yeah, we never fall back Hold our ground where we at We ain't never fall back Awesome. Oh my God, guys, this is so much better. It has been years in the making, but I feel like it's well worth it. It's just too bad I don't get to enjoy it very long because you and I are going on a road trip. Last time we had gone about 130 miles across the state of Florida. This time we're gonna do that and then go an additional thousand miles. Don't miss it right here on Squid Shot.